the sector hospitals. Um, at no time did uh, any hospital uh, refuse to cooperate with the ministry. What we have continued to tell them is to make the facilities available so that, um, and to bring down the costs of uh, the testing, bring down the cost of, uh, um, I, we see even them uh, charging for things like gowns and stuff. So we have told them that this is not business as usual. So we are cooperating with um, our private sector hospitals and mission hospitals and also supporting them in ways that, that they can. But I would also like to tell you that they have also been extremely supportive you know, to the government. I remember when we were looking, there's a time we were running short of uh, testing kits, and I called the, the, Aga Khan, the Aga Khan Hospital, and they provided testing kits to us for that evening. Yeah, we have also had situations where we have gone to them and they asked them to give us um, um, even uh, PPEs in the, in, the, in, the, in the original days when the disease broke out, and they assisted us. So I would like to say that uh, let's not just criticize, let's also give thanks and, and to acknowledge where support has been given, and they have given support. Uh, on contact tracing, we have got very many methods, uh, Nancy, of contact tracing. Uh, first, the first, of course, is the people themselves and telling us where they have been. We have not had any case so far, in the last um, a couple of weeks, we have never had a case of an individual refusing to tell us who they have been in touch with. Because obviously they appreciate that uh, if we talk to them and they come to us and we isolate them, or whether it is in a facility or, or at home, it saves lives. So, and I think you will recall when uh, the first case uh, reported to us and the second and third cases that were positive came from the first case. So people have continued to be very cooperative. I would not say that they haven't uh, been, but as I said, Safaricom also assists us in, uh, in, in that regard because we are also able to, to, um, to engage them with who they have been talking to, uh, who they have been visiting, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Mercy on uh, the curfew and the restrictions. We, have, we, we are working very closely with the police and with the enforcement agencies that um, wherever there is a case like that, wherever there is a case where somebody needs um, uh, care, health care, we, we are in touch with police all the time. And also, don't forget that our people are also moving around. But now let me also tell you, the kind of abuse of these systems we have seen. Two days ago, there were young people who wanted to beat the curfew to go to a party, and guess what they got to go for the party with? An ambulance. That's how bad it gets. You take an ambulance under the guise of uh, sickness to go and hang out instead of leaving the ambulance for the kind of uh, purposes that you are asking. So again, we are also using this opportunity, I'll write on your question, to ask Kenyans to be more responsible than uh, such individuals would be. And of course, we will get them and um, arrest them. Um, I would, uh, there are many questions that I'm going to leave on that side from the massive questions. I'm going to leave to, um, uh, to Dr. Mm -hmm.